The IB program was hugely helpful in preparation for my college uh, years. Basically, by the time I got to college, the college work seemed easy breezy. Um, or at the very least, I was very familiar with a lot of the material that we were already studying, had had some sort of uh, prior introduction to the ideas, so I was really ahead of the game. And when it came to a college workload, I found that I had no trouble whatsoever balancing and keeping up with work, in addition to still having a fun college life, because I had been so used to that in high school already. My favorite part of being a candidate was definitely learning to use my voice more so than I had before because I think I'm a very reserved person but I think it has helped me come out of my, my shell a little bit more. I actually wrote my college essay on the IB program just because it was something that was like a significant part of my high school experience. So I actually wound up getting into my number one school and then I got invited to the honors program for my number one school, wrote about TOK for my honors essay because I was talking about philosophy, um, got into the honors program. So now I also get to go study at a college in Scotland. So like it really opens a lot of doors for you. And I really think that my IB education is to credit with my ability to keep up and conduct research and, um, you know, stay competitive at a top research university. Um, I think that my writing skills really began to grow in my time in IB through extended essay, writing research papers in every class um, and that kind of thing. I have learned in college how to better synthesize my thoughts and ideas, um, but I definitely think I would be a lot worse off without the major writing assignments that IB provided, which really set it apart from AP in my experience. Um, I was forced to think really critically, but also come up with my own ideas and conduct my own research for many of the papers that I wrote in high school, um, which is something that you know I continue to do now. And this summer as an incoming research assistant, it's something that I'll have to be doing, you know, from this point forward. Um, so I think that IB really gave me the toolkit necessary to be successful at a school like Boston University. I got tons of college credit. Um, when I went to the University of Florida, I actually, I think I got about two years worth <laughs> I didn't have to take any basic intro, you know, any of the, um, I don't remember what they're called now, the, the ones that you have to take, the general, general ed classes. I didn't have to take any of those because I got exempted from all of them with my IB tests. And as a result of that, not only did I graduate with my degree and having changed, <laughs> you know, in the middle of my study, I still graduated in the four years, you know, and had a minor on top of it and took a bunch of different classes that I was just interested in. So really college was just doing exactly what I wanted to do without having any extras to worry about. So even though it gets hyped up as this like super hard, like crazy, impossible program, it really isn't. It's just like AP, except you have like two year classes instead of one year classes. So you like focus more in depth on the same topics. You know, the program is two years and you have to definitely take um, more rigorous classes. They're more challenging, definitely. But I think that if you just, you know, do your work, because a lot of people say like, oh, I'm too like dumb to do IB. And the reality is no one's dumb. I, I think people are, are made to, to feel or think that they are, and I think IB really helps you like get rid of that mindset because it's, besides being a toxic mindset, it also just allows you to, you know, just think for yourself and you know allow to grow with others as well, because, because it is such a small program, I think you also get such a more interconnectedness with the people mm -hmm. that you're with, 
and that definitely helps you just grow as a person and um, also challenge yourself because your friends are there, they're challenging you, you're challenging yourself and uh, you're allowed to, to grow as a thinker and as a learner too. If it's something, if you're planning to go to college, if you have a deep interest in studying in a lot of different areas, maybe you're not quite sure exactly what you want to do, or if you just want to broaden your horizons in a direction that you, you know, might not normally come across in your standard high school curriculum, look into it. At the very least, be open to the opportunity. I love the IB program and I encourage everyone to be a part of the IB program. I hope it grows. I hope, you know, someday this school is an IB school, even if that might not be possible, because it's a great program.